Hey, let me kick it to you. Okay, so now we're gonna teach you how to use calculus to solve real world problems. Um, you're gonna use it, need your calculator for this. Um, I have a TI-84 plus silver edition, so that's what I'm gonna use. Hopefully you're using the same thing. So you can use this to graph regressions, which will help you find like a general trend over time and like predict different results. But let me explain more. Um, so here we have some real life data for a number of cell phone subscribers for selected years. Uh, for the year 1995, there was 34, for 1998, 70, 2001, 128, 2004, 182. Say so you wanted to figure out what, how many cell phone subscribers you would have in future years based on the general trend. Well, we're given that 1995, um, well t equals 5 corresponding to 1995, so let's pretend that this number instead of 1995 is the number 5. That would make 1998 8, because that's 3 more than 5, and then 1001 would be 11, and 1004 would be 14. Alright, now you're going to need your calculator. What you want to do is you want to press the on button first, because that's always a good start. And then you press stat, and then it'll, it should say edit, and you should press enter. You're going to see line 1, line 2, line 3. Line 1, you want to plug these numbers in. So we're going to plug in 5, 8, 11, and 14. In line 2, you want to plug this, these numbers in. And 34, 70, 128, and 182. Then you want to go to stat again, press the right arrow button, and then go down to number 4 where it says linear, regular, this should say linreg, and then you press enter a whole bunch of times. And it'll give you, in y equals ax plus b format, that a equals about 16.7, and b should equal negative 55.47. And then you can just plug this into your equation, y equals ax, so 16.7x, plus b, so minus 55.47. And so, if you wanted to figure out what it would be for t equals 15, you can plug that into your x and just figure out how many cell phone subscribers you would have. So that's helpful for business models and things like that. And that's how you use calculus in the real world.